To make a porous membrane at a school lab, you will need to prepare a set of vessels and devices, follow a multiple step procedure, and carefully mix the solution. A collaborative effort for a small team. But if you want to conduct the experiment in outer space at zero gravity, the major prerequisite is to minimize the complicity of the experiment and simplify the procedure. The students at Shanta Fraternal Association Yongyao College, a secondary school in Hong Kong, explain how they designed the space experiment for the Tiangong 2 space lab. We have simplified the experiment so it's quite easy to carry out in space. The solutions can be prepared on Earth and put in two plastic bags. The astronauts just need to make a salt water film with one metal ring and a PVA film with another ring, and then carefully pull the two together to try to create a porous polymer membrane. How do they know of the water film? We have watched the space lesson by Wang Yaping and thus know that in space, a water film can be created with a metal ring because of increased water tension. So we hypothesized the same method in our experimental design. China began to link its space exploration directly to basic scientific education three years ago when astronauts gave a lesson to millions of school children from Tiangong 1 and demonstrated various phenomena in zero gravity. Today, as the country moves forward with Tiangong 2, students are encouraged to come up with their own ideas for experiments in space. A space science experiment design competition was held for Hong Kong secondary school students by the Mainland Manned Space Agency together with the Productivity Council of Hong Kong last year. The top three winners, namely the experiment of a porous membrane, silkworm breeding and the study of double pendulous, were carried to space by the Shenzhou 11 and are being conducted in the Tiangong 2 space lab. <laughs> the students were then invited to witness the liftoff of the Shenzhou 11 at Jiu Chuan Launch Center. I still remember the moment we heard the countdown and saw a light in the distance. It meant we could really see the rocket launch with our own eyes. Watching it slowly ascend and the dust flying in the wake of its launch was so exciting. To see the spacecraft in person was so amazing. I had never imagined the rocket would be so gigantic. Being able to be part of such a giant and high-end project is the most precious experience for me. Besides the excitement from the trip, the students are continuing with their passion for space science and they are paying close attention to the astronauts on board the Tiangong 2. We don't know how the experiment will go in space. We're waiting to see the results when the astronauts return to Earth. And this curiosity towards the unknown arises each time they look into the space. Well then, CCTV, Hong Kong.